wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'll be showing you how to build this cozy moss cottage. This magical looking build complete with a tower is a perfect addition to any cottage core or fairy core world. The materials you need for this build are on your screen now. Keep in mind to grab a few extra of the stone type items as this will make building the tower a lot easier. Here is the outline for today's build with the measurements. We're going to be building on top of this outline so you can put in one like this if it helps you build. You can see it's essentially a rectangle with a circle in the top left hand corner for the tower. We'll begin cre by creating the backing walls for the main part of the house using moss, lime terracotta and green terracotta and we're going to be working on the inside of this outline and then putting decorations on the outline itself. So we'll start by counting two in with our blocks and then we'll place in a location for a window, which is too high with white stained glass. And I'll do this on the other side as well. And you can see I'll be randomizing the textures of these blocks as I go, using mainly lime terracotta and the moss, and using a little bit of green terracotta for some contrast. Then on this end wall, I'll count in two to make sure my window is centered. On the back wall, I'll do the same thing, lining it up with the window at the front. And then that's the last window on this wall, we'll be just building up to this point here. Now that we've got our windows in, you can just fill in your wall five high. One, two, three, four, five. All the way around. When you're doing this, it's important to take a step back every now and then and check you're happy with how the randomized texture is going. And don't forget, you can always change up where you've got the blocks by breaking and replacing as you go. That's what the front wall looks like. The end wall. And now onto the back wall. And I'm just coming up to this point here, which you can see is two blocks from the end of this wall, so it should line up with the window. Here's how it should look from above. Now before we build the main part of the tower, we'll create a joining section between the tower and the house section of the build. So find this corner here which is diagonal from the front wall backwards, and you want to build 5 high with your tower wall blocks. So for this I'm using a mixture of stone brick, mossy stone brick, cracked stone bricks, cobble and mossy cobble, and you can use whatever distribution of these you like. Once you build 5 high so it is level with this wall, Come to the inside of the build on this diagonal and build up 5 high with some stone bricks. These ones wouldn't be as aged as they're on the interior of the build. Now we'll create an archway for the door by building up 2 high and placing in a right way up stair and an upside down stair. A block on top of this. And then I'm placing in some spruce planks as these will join up with the floor between the lower level and the attic. I'm rotating round to the other side of the build now, and I'll build up 5 high with some stone bricks, and then randomize the textures here. And now I'll create another archway on this side of the build for the door, building up 2 high, placing a stone brick stair, and placing a block. 
Now that we're all prepared, we can start adding in the walls of the tower, continuing with our stone brick, mossy stone brick, cracked stone brick, cobble and mossy cobble. Now I'll be placing in the walls all 11 high up following this circle outline and then I'll be breaking in my windows afterwards. You can put the windows in as you go but I find this an easier way to get a good texture on my build. That's 5 high, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and I'll build all the walls up to this height. Don't forget you can always break and replace to make sure you've got a texture that you're happy with. I will be leaving in a space three blocks here at the front of the tower when you're looking from this side where my door is going to be going and the reason this is going to be three high is because I'm going to be having a terracotta block there for a pop of colour. I'm almost all the way around. When I come to this side which is joining up the wall here, I will be leaving a too high gap above these planks for the doorway. And just as we had on the lower section of this wall, this height of the wall can be made all out of stone brick as it wouldn't have weathered as much as it's not exposed to the elements. go, let's get adding some windows. The windows on the tower are going to be placed at differing heights which will add lots of character to the build and we'll start by placing in the first one on the corner here. It's three blocks high and I'll be using some white stained glass blocks. On the corners we'll be using blocks and on the flat faces we're going to be using some glass panes. For this window I'll come one up above where we have our door and build up three high with some panes. And then I'm going to come round to the corner again, going one down from the top of the wall and put in a two high window. On this corner here, I'm coming down one in the diagonal for a three high window. Then coming around to this side, switching back to my glass panes, I have a three high window here. And then finally on this corner, we have two more windows one three high, one block above the ground, and then a three block gap and a two high window. Once you've placed in your glass like this, double check that you're happy with where the textures are in relation to the window, and now we can get working on the next step. It's time to add some decorations, and we'll be starting on the decorations going around the lower section of this build. Begin building five high in the corners with some stripped birch logs, And then come to the middle of the front wall and build another five high, a post like this, as well as one on the back. You 
can see this has divided the walls into sections of five wide and we'll be applying some decorations to each of these sections. Starting with some logs and some stairs. I'll build across the top of this section with some more logs. Add in some stairs and some uh, trapdoors and slabs. You can see how it looks and this pattern gets replicated on the other groups. Once you come round to the back section of the build, where the grouping is only three as it runs into the tower, you just want to continue this decoration along as far as you can go, pretending like it is a five wide section. And here's what you'll end up with. Likewise, on this section of the build where there's only a sliver of the green showing, we'll just fill it in with the same decorations pretending like it continues on. Now we'll take some more stripped birch logs and come out from each of these posts like this. And grab some spruce buttons and place them on each of these logs. Then in between, grab some spruce fence gates and place them along here. You won't need to go all the way to the end as um, we're going to be having some window decorations filling in this space. So just in front of the birch logs. And you can also add some spruce trapdoors to either side of the windows as some window shutters. Here's how it's all looking so far. Now for some decorations on the tower, we'll start by adding in the door. So I've got a lime terracotta here and then I'm creating a little archway with some birch slabs and stairs. I'll place some birch logs at the bottom and connect with some fences. Now for all the window decorations on the flat faces, you'll need two slabs above and below the window with a lantern hanging like this. Then I'll use some spruce trapdoors for some window shutters. On the windows on the diagonal, we'll have two slabs like this, and then some birch stairs facing inwards, and then spruce fences to connect the two. On some of these windows, this will be a three high decoration, and on some of the windows, they'll be two high. While we're working on this tower, of course we'll need our birch door, so I'm placing this from the inside so it is set on the back layer of this stone brick here. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a gradient between the ground and the tower itself. So I'll come forward with a block and then place a stair on top on the flat sides, so that's the front and the back. Now I'm just using a mixture of the same blocks we used in the tower, and it's up to you what blocks and stairs you use here. Then on these corners, I'll just use some more stairs. We 
We're almost ready to get started on the roof, but first we'll add in the floor as well as the second story. I'm using some stripped spruce logs here as that works well with the colour scheme and I feel it adds a nice warmth to the interior of the build. And by using the stripped spruce logs, it gives the look of larger floorboards. I'm placing these long ways along the length of the build right into the tower. You could also customise this flooring by perhaps having some sort of tile-like block in this tower section. Polished andesite would work great here. And keep in mind to keep all your logs facing the same direction. Now that that's floor, that floor is in, we can add in this floor, level with these spruce planks here. And I'm just using some slabs and coming out to from this kind of window we've got here, right in front of this window. I'll add a spruce trapdoor railing. And of course, a ladder to get up. Now this floor will flow right through into the attic space of the house. But instead of just placing in a flat floor, I'm going to add in some beams. One going through the centre and going through the centre the other direction. And then I'm filling in the rest with the slabs. Now if we go inside the build, you can see this has created a nice beamwork on the interior of the build, which is a great architectural feature. For the roof of this build, we'll start by adding in some cobble gables. So on the tower side, I'm coming one in from these birch logs here, building out two and then coming up another two. That way the gable runs straight into the wall. And then on the other side, I'm building across these green blocks here and creating a gable with a little space for a window. Now I can create an edge out of some spruce stairs, slabs and blocks. So I'll come across, so I'm sitting over the edge of the roof here with a stair. Come to the other side and place one upside down. Right way up, upside down, a block, and up a right way stair, an upside down stair. One more this way. Then I'm placing one facing forward and I'm creating a little flick on the top of the roof with a stair like this. I'll follow this shape down the other side of the build now. Here's how this should look. I'll create the sh same end shape with some more spruce on this side of the build, running as far as I can into the tower. Like this. And then I'll come to the midway point in the build and create the same pattern with the spruce. Obviously, I don't need to fill in the interior part here because the roof is going to be along this way. So I just need to place in the visible upper layer slabs and stairs. I'll just use a slab on the top here and I'm going to check that this is in line with the stair at the end of the roof and then I'll come up the other side as well. Finally, I'll connect all of these stairs up with some slabs. Now the spruce is in, we can add in the moss for the roof. And this is just going straight across, joining up with the spruce that we've placed in. So you can see for our roof that we go up in a group of one, then two, then one, and then one. If you'd like, you can come to the inside of your build and place in some moss blocks here, or if you prefer the look, you can place in some spruce blocks here, it's up to you. 
and don't forget to do the back side of the roof. We also have a cute little chimney on this roof, so come to this section of the roof on the right hand side of the build and count in two moss blocks and break these two moss blocks here. We're going to be using the same blocks as used on the tower which will tie the whole build together and we'll create the lower section of the chimney first. You can see I've created a randomized texture square here. Then I'm using some stairs to bring the chimney on a diagonal like this. Making sure there's no holes in the chimney. Build up too high with some blocks here. And now we have a base to build the next part of our chimney on. So the chimney is going to have a one block center like this. And I'm placing a stair here to continue the sweeping shape of the chimney. Then I'll come up an additional three high on top of this. Once you've got the stone brick part of your chimney in, you can add in a campfire and then some spruce trap doors on the top to finish it off. For the roof of the tower, begin with some dirt blocks, placing them on top of the tower walls. This will make placing in the roof a lot easier. And we'll go and break these later. This is also a good time to add in your ladder and a floor for the attic space in the tower. You could also leave this space open and have a beautiful chandelier hanging from here. If you'd like some ideas for how to decorate a house in this style or any other cottage core house, as well as some chandelier ideas, check out the tutorial in the description down below. Next I'm placing in some stripped birch logs on the front faces of each of these sides. See, so you can see they're coming out of the three wide sections. And I'm placing a spruce button on each of these. Now I want to create a kind of wavy edge to the bottom of this tower roof using some spruce stairs and slabs. I'll also go in with some moss blocks as I go to help me define the shape. go about randomizing these blocks here is entirely up to you but the important thing to keep in mind is that the moss blocks and the stairs that go around follow along this shape that way you won't end up with any holes in your roof so you can check this by breaking the dirt blocks once you've got this first layer in and you should see there are no holes and it completes a circle and much like all the rest of the texturization going on in this build, you can take a step back and make sure you're happy with it. See, I might like to put a slab in here. And I also think it would be nice to have some slabs below these birch blocks. Just to continue the wavy texture around. Now we're going to add in the guidelines for the shape of the rest of the roof. And for this we're using some spruce planks. You want to build up too high on top of each of your birch blocks. Then come in on the diagonal for each one. Up in one more. And then on top of this, create a little plus with this uh, with the spruce. Finally, I'm creating a point on the top with another block and two fences. Now that the guidelines are in, we can fill in each section of the roof, starting by coming one to either side of these planks, then building up two on top of these two diagonal blocks here, and in and across like this. Next I'll fill in the diagonal here, 
and then a little L shape in the corner. And you can repeat this pattern on the other corners. Here's how it's looking. We've got a few more important finishing details to go on this build, starting with some greenery on the roof. For this I'm using pink tulips, grass, ferns, alliums, lily of the valleys, oxide daisies, small drip leaves, lilacs and peonies. But you can use whatever coloured flowers and greenery suits your um, style and zone. I'll start by going in with the taller plants to make sure I get them placed where I want them. And then I'll fill in with some flowers and finally the grasses and the ferns. You can see this is giving the build a really lush look and it's just about taking your time with this step to make sure you're happy with the finished product. And that's the whole lower section of the roof filled in, although I think I can probably fit one more flower in this corner here. And now I'm going to do the same thing up on this tower roof. I think that looks pretty good. The next bit of decoration we need to add is on this gable window. This is simply created with a slab and a pot with an azalea. I'll hang a lantern from this block here and then some window shutters. I also want to create some planters going along the front and the back of the build. For this I'm using rooted dirt. If you don't have any of this you can just use coarse dirt. And I'm creating planters like this with trapdoors. And these are going in front of each of the birch posts. Then I'll plant a flowering azalea with some leaves on top. I've got a resource pack here that makes my leaves extra poofy, which is a great feature to have for your build. And you should check out my um, channel friend Jack's Legends tutorial for how to get this texture pack. I'll put two along the back of the build here as well. And then I also want to put some pot plants in front of these windows. I'm also going to hang some lanterns underneath each of these sections to give the build a nice warm glow. So you can see I've placed this cottage in a dark oak forest. This bull would look marvellous in any foresty biome, but I love how it looks in a dark oak biome. I've also surrounded it with some of the decorations from my cottage core decoration tutorial, and this really sets the scene around the build. I hope you enjoy creating this moss cottage. Subscribe for more tutorials like this one and check out my Patreon to support me further. I'd really appreciate it. See you in another video.